In keeping with the tradition of skiing tonight, and on behalf of the friends of Village Hockey, Hopkins and High School Administration, coaches and players, I'd like to welcome you all to the 2018 Senior Day game. We would like to acknowledge the effort, commitment, and dedication shown by our seniors and their families over the course of their playing careers, both on and off the ice. First, I'd like to acknowledge the East Lawn Meadows seniors, Connor P.Q., Liam O'Brien, Jacob Bates, Angelo Morales, Matthew Donahue, Zach Martin, and Billy Kelvin. Now for your 2018 tri Valley League Champion, Hopkins and Hiller Seniors. Number three, Matt Lindquist, Mom Day, Dad Ball. Number seven, Hunter Temple, Mom June. Number 17, DJ Sloan, Mom Carey, Dad Day. Dad 
Gentlemen, and welcome into the New England Sports Center for the Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey Game. Final regular season game of this 2017 2018 season. Tom Nappy, Eric Carty on the call, Matt Clark on camera. And this afternoon it is senior day for the Hopkinton Hillers as they just had the senior day festivities. And they will be taking on East Longmeadow. Hopkinton 15-2 and 1 on the season. East Longmeadow is 5 and 13. The Hillers riding a six-game winning streak. And they are looking to end the regular season, keeping that winning streak very much alive. Eric, it seems that as this season has gone on, this Hillers team has got nothing but better. Yeah, just quite the run, Tom. You know, since that loss to Medfield. They said they're 6-0, uh, and oh, five of those shutouts. In the other game, they only gave up one goal there. They're plus 65 on the year for goals against them. They're uh, just got in cruise control now, but yeah, they want to finish up strong here, so the start of the playoffs, they'll be ready to roll. And this will be the final regular season tune-up before the postseason starts next week. And we're expecting the Hillers to more than likely have a bye in the first round and cruise right into the second round. Right now, we're gonna send it down to ice level for the National Anthem. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the Women's Sports Center. This afternoon's game between your visiting East Longmeadow Spartans and your home team, Hockey and the Hillers. 
Hartford High School Indian Man, we'd like to remind all participants as well as spectators that every Indian classroom athletic event is an extension of the daily classroom setting. Good sportsmanship and respect are displayed at all times with teams, coaches, and spectators as well as team officials. And now, at all MIA, I'm going to start the spectator and the usual work from the actors, the actors, the top, the players, the coaches, the anchors, the other spectators, and such a good gesture. Best luck to both teams. Now, let's meet our starting lineups. First, for the visitors, starting on the team's long medal. Starting defense, number 18, Sean Higgins. Number three on defense, Connor P.Q. Starting off wing, number six, Liam O'Brien. Starting center, number nine, Angelo Morale. Starting right wing, number seven, Jacob Bates. And starting goal, number one, Dante Pacini. Your head coach and his partners, Mr. Dan Reed. Now, let's meet your hometown lawyer. Starting defense, number three, Matt Lindquist. Starting defense, number 20, Connor Delaney. Starting left wing, number 21, Mahomes. Starting center, number 17, he is long. And right wing, number 20, Will Maddox. And starting goal, your captain, number 31, Dylan O'Leary. And so the hill is Mr. Christmas Pearson. For the action, please rise. Remember your hats in honor of our national anthem. off here at the New England Sports Center, 3 p.m. start to this game here today as it is February vacation, so a lot of afternoon action taking place throughout the area. Let's run through the starters just in case you missed it. We'll start off with East Longmeadow. Their starters include number one, Dante Ficini, number three, Connor Peach. Number six, left winger Liam O'Brien. Number seven, right winger Jacob Bates. Center, Angelo Morris. And number 18, Sean Higgins, the defenseman. And Dante Pacini, the goaltender. As for the Hopkinton Hillers, it's Matt Lindquist, DJ Sloan. Owen Delaney is back and in action today. Will Abbott and, of course, Dylan O'Leary in net. An attempt at a shot there by Peach, and that was blocked by Delaney. And here comes the Hillers into East Longmeadow territory. East Longmeadow going to get a good test today here against a very good Hillers team. East Longmeadow 5-13 on the season. The Hillers 15-2-1, six-game winning streak for Hopkinton. And they have picked up some very impressive wins as of late as East Longmeadow threatening here. That one wide to the left by Jacob Bates. 
putting the pressure on early. These Leafs, East Long Meadow is coming down the ice is DJ Sloan around a defender and backhands that one a little bit too high. Around the net now. Little Abbott trying to gain control. Some back and forth action along the far side. Into the corner it goes, picked up by Peach. Back to the neutral zone. Will Abbott will chase it down with Pete Mitchell. Eric, I would expect uh, just about any everyone on the Hillers roster to get some playing time here today. Good tune-up just before the postseason. Yeah, yeah, they want to get everyone fresh, ready to go. I think East Long Meadow also had a game last night, so interesting to see how they hold up here in the later periods after having a, uh, a game late last night. And East Long Meadow going to be on a power play as DJ Sloan heads to the box. Mike Moynihan on the faceoff for East Longmeadow. Sean Walsh for the Hillers. Here comes Lindquist on a break up the near side. Takes a hit into the boards and it's picked up by Shutsu. Now at the line, Sean Walsh. He got Sloan for tripping and his shot here just wide to the right by Walsh. Into the corner goes Temple. East Longmeadow on the power play, but the Hillers maintaining control. And we'll get a whistle here. Offsides. Uh, good to see the uh, penalty killer being a little aggressive there. They've had a couple good chances so far, being the man down. Griffin Zach up against Andrew Miller. Lindquist puts that over to the far side. Player to look out for on East Longmeadow is Michael Trace, 16 goals on the season. Picked up by Moynihan. Going up the near side, Saracino, and he takes a hit. Back over to Kyle Rogers. Rogers trying to turn it around. Here comes Bates. Up the near side he goes. Larry will set it up. Back to the neutral zone as that one got by Moynihan. Watching a break for the hill is there right off the ref skate, deflected right out over the blue line. 45 seconds left on the power play. That one wristed up in the air by Rogers. There's Abbott looking for a shot here along the left circle. Around the net he goes, lost control. Matt Donahue will put it around the boards. Up to the near side to Kervik. We're now back to the neutral zone. Abbott trying to come away with it. Leaves it behind for Simos. Simos out in front, and that's a glove save by Ficini. Ten seconds left on the power play, but it sure doesn't seem like it has affected the Hillers a whole lot. Hopkinton maintaining control. Connor Delaney up the near side. Now it's Liam O'Brien leaving it behind for Kane. Abbott into the corner, leaves it out front for Simos. Now Abbott around the net, trying to leave that one for Sloan who just came out of the box. Rister, and that is off the glove of Ficini. Around the net, Sloan out in front, was hoping that Abbott would have a shot on it. Hillers take it right back, however. Simos up the near side, Abbott on a break. Into the right circle, the backhander, and that is going to be wrapped up by Facini. Yeah, nice save, Abbott trying to go five hole. Looks like he got under there, but we'll tell him just able to catch that in the last minute. That was a very good save by Facini. It looks like early on, Tom, that East Long Meadow's going to have a hard time just matching with the Hill. Every time they get a break, the Hill is so fast, they're able to get right back on Buck. And Jarrett up the near side of Hunter Temple. Temple over to Walsh. Walsh looking for a shot into the slot, and that one is off the crossbar, then knocked in. I, I believe it was Hamlet who got the last touch. We'll get the confirmation, but Walsh put it off the crossbar. And then I believe it was Hamlet just in front of the net, knocking that one in. 
What did you see, Eric? Uh, I, th I think it was Walsh. I, th I think it, he just wristed that one in. I think it went bar down and in. But my eyes are getting that, all That might have happened as well. <laughs> that might have happened. That's why we like to have the replays. I've <laughs> learned that you're usually right. <laughs> <laughs> Here comes the Hillers on the attack once again. Temple up the near side towards Walsh. Put around the boards by Donahue for East Longmeadow. Walsh leaves it behind for Temple. Over to the blue line. Put over to the far side corner by Sheamus. Around the net, a little miscommunication there. Sheamus gets back to the corner towards Hamlet. Now it's Temple coming around. So it indeed was Sean Walsh with the goal, and almost another goal there by Hunter Temple. So it went off the crossbar and just landed in the net. That was a good shot there by Walsh. And he got it to fall just right. Up the near side, Temple. Now Peach will pick it up along the boards. Lindquist coming around. Lindquist surrounded by a couple East Longmeadow players is able to get out of the jam. There's Gilbert. Handled by Peach, the defenseman for East Longmeadow. Back to the neutral zone. Lindquist up against Miller. Now it's Weinstock getting in on the action. Up the near side. Jammed up along the far side boards. Walsh tripped up. Here comes Abbott on a break. Into the left circle, Arister. That one's off the glove of Ficini. Still out in front and trying to poke it through was Rogers, but Ficini able to cover it up. And a couple pushes behind the net as well. Hill is just not letting East Long Meadow uh, even get the puck in the, the zone. Um, they're just amassing at the line, and it's going to be a long night. Yeah, East Long Meadow just struggling to get any kind of momentum. Looks like the Hills will be on the power play here. Jake Morehouse to the box for East Long Meadow. DJ Sloan on the faceoff. There's Connor Delaney putting it to the near side corner. Along the far side boards, Jacob Bates wrists that one over the head of Lindquist. Into the Hiller zone it goes, chased down by Connor Delaney. Delaney leaving it for Simos. Simos over to Abbott. Abbott contested by Bates. To Lindquist. Here goes Lindquist up the board. Behind the net, trying to leave it out in front. No one was there. Abbott takes it. Back to Lindquist on the left circle. Now it's towards the point to Connor Delaney. That one deflected off of Ficini. Lindquist is going to have a goal. Wrists that one right through the five hole for goal number two for the Hillers with 7.48 left to go in the first period. Just a nice setup. Hillers being patient, looking for that open man. Kind of a bad angle shot, but he's able to catch it just right off the goalie skate. And Ficini was turned around and could not swing around quick enough to stop that rocket of Arista from Lindquist. Donahue over towards Miller. Back to Donahue. Nearly taken away by Gilbert. Now Temple has it up the far side. The Arista wide to the right. O'Brien leaves it out in front. Along the boards, Gilbert. Out for Walsh now. Here comes Walsh. Trying to leave that one out in front. And along the near side by Liam O'Brien. He meets up with Temple. Out in front. With possession behind the net now. Hamblet leaves it in the corner for Walsh. 
Hamblett looking towards the blue line. We'll put it to the point to Gilbert. Gilbert will chase it down back ice. Puts it right up the far side of Walsh. Walsh towards the high slot. He's looking towards Hamblett in the right circle. Picked up by Hamblett in the far side corner. Behind the net, Temple. Temple turns it around. Over to Walsh. Walsh looking for someone out in front. Hamblett with possession. Into the corner, is Temple able to dig it out? Now East Longmeadow with possession. Coming up ice, Andrew Miller. A 2-0 Hillers lead, 6-15 and counting left in the first period. A quick start for Hopkinton. And they have pretty much maintained control of this game throughout so far. On the far side, Temple. Here comes East Longmeadow now, Moynihan with a break. That one diverted by Jarrett. Good defensive play there. Griffin Zack puts it up the ice. Bush getting a stick up along the far side boards. Saracino with a Moynihan. That one wristed in the air and stopped by Lindquist. Lindquist turns it around, but he's tripped up. Along the corner, Saracino is looking for someone out front, but no one there. Weinstock takes it up the near side on a quick break. Goes around Miller. In the corner he goes, and he takes a hard hit into the boards, trying to get it out to Griffin Zach. Able to pick it up along the near side corner. Zach with the shot, and that one's diverted by the defenseman. By Peach, and Peach got away with a, a stick there. It's one way to gain a little separation in front. <laughs> and O'Leary will wrap that one up. Both teams going to switch up the talent on the ice. 4.59 left in the first period. Final regular season game for the Hopkinton Hillers. I think, Tom, if East Long is going to have any success here, they're going to have to just try to get pucks in deep and just forecheck and hope the Hillers make a mistake and turn it over, which hasn't happened yet. Quick break, Simos. Simos and Abbott. Here comes Simos, and he tries to put that one in. A good stop by Ficini. Hiller's still with possession, Sloan along the near side. Sloan swings around. Over towards Connor Delaney, puts that one up in the air. On the near side, Saporoshitz. And here comes East Longmeadow, looking for a shot here. That one off of the leg pad by O'Leary. Shutsu on the shot for East Longmeadow, looking for another one as O'Leary has to divert that one. Into the near side corner. Here comes Abbott. Abbott finds Simos. Simos on a break to the net. And that one just wide to the right. On the near side, Saporoshitz puts it behind the net. Abbott trying to leave it out in front. Sloan turns it around, and that one's stopped by Ficini. Well, doing these games, Tom, we certainly get to know the opposing goaltenders' names quite familiar. We certainly do. <laughs> they get a lot of action. Already 10 shots on goal for the Hillers. Just three for East Longmeadow. John Walsh on the faceoff. Wide to the left goes Sheamus. Along the far side, Jarrett. And that one's put out of play. Face off in the left circle. Sean Walsh in there for the Hillers. Up against Angelo Morris. Temple puts it to the corner. Hamlet back to Temple. Now to the high slot, that wrister. And Ficini got a glove on that one, still out in front. And Sloan is able to jam it out, but now coming down the ice, Bates turns it around. O'Leary will knock that one away. Here comes Hopkinton along the near side. Temple giving a hard hit there, but now a break for East Longmeadow. Bates into the high slot, and O'Leary will have to cover that one up. 
Yeah, Hiller was caught in a defensive change there, but uh, still had the speed to get over and just force him a bit outside so that he didn't have a clear, be able to get everything on that shot on O'Leary. So now the Spartans of East Longmeadow putting a little bit of pressure on. They know they'll have to step up their game if they want any chance in this one. Back to the blue line, that one's knocked out of the park for a home run by Donahue. Canadian flag making a <laughs> save on that one. Griffin Zach up against Moynihan. That shot by Donahue. Along the near side, Miller trying to leave it out in front. That wrister wide to the right by Moynihan. Well, East Longmeadow in the last couple of minutes getting some good shots. Here comes Griffin Zach into the left circle, and that one is off of Pacini. Zach goes flying into the corner after he met up with a defenseman. Along the near side it goes. O'Leary will set it up. And he'll swing it around towards Linquist. Linquist up to Weinstock. Weinstock across to Sloan. Or excuse me, Rogers rather. Here's Abbott, just hopped into the game and immediately at the puck. If Zach puts that one out front, Pacini will turn it away. On the near side corner, Fuziti Jr. It's up with Sloan. Sloan leaves it out in front, the shot, and Pacini got the wrap on that one by Saporoshitz. Nice club save. Well, Pacini being put to work early and often. 155 left to go in the first period, a 2-0 lead for the Hillers. And we'll have to see how long Pacini is able to last under this amount of pressure. Already 13 shots on goal for the Hillers. Yeah, I'm not sure if he played last night too, Tom. If he did uh, last night and today, that he's going to have a tired arm. Here comes Sloan trying to swing it around, and Abbott is waiting for Sloan to get set up out in front. Larry will leave that one for Connor Delaney. Up to Abbott. Well, Abbott, the team points leader, over to Sloan, and we'll get a whistle here. Face off in the neutral zone. On the offsides, it'll be Sloan and Morse. That went off of Abbott. Now Simos with possession, backhands it, no one's there. Sloan steals it away. Abbott getting the shot off. That's in. And that is a goal. Wow. Rapid fire shot there. Pacini didn't even seem to know where it went. Yeah, I don't think he even had time to respond once it got on Abbott's stick, it was gone. Three nothing Hillers. That's the most silent goal applause I think <laughs> I've ever heard. And for Will, I think that extends his point streak to about 15 games or 16 games now. Unbelievable. I think it took everyone a while to realize that that one went in. Will Abbott now 26 goals on the season, 15 assists. And he just keeps racking up the points. Jammed up along the back of the Hiller's net, and we'll get a whistle. Someone's heading to the box here, and it looks like it's going to be on East Longmeadow. Looks like Liam O'Brien is getting a talking to, and he's going to head to the penalty box. Face off in East Longmeadow territory. That one's stopped by Ficini out in front. And East Longmeadow able to get it back. Larry up the near side of Hamlet. Hamlet meets up with Bates. Minute 44 left on the power play for Hopkinton. Already three goals in this first period. 
25 seconds and counting left in the period. Up the near side, Walsh. Rounded defender, leaves it out in the slot and Hamlet's shot turned away. Back into the Hiller zone. Brosh is able to turn it around and now it's taken over by Walsh and time will run out. At the end of the first period, it's Hopkinton three, East Longmeadow nothing. Hiller's domination once again at the New England Sports Center. Second period coming up next on HCAM. My name is Kurt. My name is Nina. And Kai. I'm Haley. Hi, my name is Jake. We're the Hiller Volleyball Team. My name is Emma. My name is May. My name is Shelby. My name is Sophie. We're Al my gal and we love HCAM. Hey, I want to be a camp. We love, love HCAM. And I volunteer for HCAM TV. And I watch HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. And I love HCAM TV. We love HCAM TV. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center as we are just about ready for the second period. A 3-0 lead for the Hillers, 107 remaining on a power play as well for Hopkinton. In the first period, Sean Walsh started things off, scoring his 10th goal of the season. He's now up to 20 points. And then with 7.48 left, Matt Lindquist scored his fifth goal of the season. He's up to 17 points. And then, of course, Will Abbott had to get, on, get in on the action. 114 left, Will Abbott scores his 29th goal of the season. He is up to 47 points on the year. Pretty unbelievable stuff by Will Abbott this season. As we are ready for the faceoff and underway in the second period. We have switched ends and Simos up the near side trying to leave that one out in front for Abbott. Sloan trying to put it around the boards. That one diverted by Martin. Jammed up along the far side. And knocked down by the defenseman Morris. Morris and Simos up behind the net. Sloan takes over. Here comes Sloan storming up the far side into the right circle. Around the net he goes. Lindquist. Over to Connor Delaney. And Delaney wrists that one right in. I think Abba got a stick on it, Tom. He deflected that top corner. Unbelievable. Delaney put all kinds of juice on that one, and Abbott might have his 30th goal of the season. And that comes with 14 16 left, so 44 seconds into the second period. A 4 0 lead for the Hillers. That one off of Pacini. We'll get the official word in a moment, but more than likely it'll be Will Abbott on the goal, Connor Delaney on the assist. Another power play. The, the Hillers have been uh, excellent on power plays this year. That's two so far today. Into the corner, Temple. And he's knocked down. Handled by Walsh. Up to the blue line of Gilbert. Puts it down on the net. And it indeed was Will Abbott, his 30th goal of the season. Jammed up along the corner. Left out in front, turned away, and shot from top of left circle by Gilbert. That was right into the defenseman, Matt Donahue. Donahue taking a rib shot off from that one. Behind the net, Temple leaves it out in front, and it's handled. Here comes East Longmeadow. And then Hiller's territory it goes. O'Leary will wrap it up. Uh, the Hillers passing, uh, they're just always able to find that open guy that's out front to give them the best opportunity. It's Connor Delaney's seventh assist of the season on that last goal. He now has nine points. And that's put out of play. Fans.
man delivering the puck. That one must have went right through the netting. Around the net goes Sheamus. Luke Clyde into the game, giving a hit there. Up the far side, Sheamus. Stolen away by Shutsu. Sheamus to Glyden. Up the far side, Weinstock. And we'll get a whistle here. Offsides and face off in the neutral zone. DJ Sloan up against Angelo Morris. Killers up 4 0, 12 22 and counting left in the second period. Simos up behind the net, takes it over to the near side corner. Trying to find someone out in front. Skips it over to Lindquist. Lindquist puts it around. Picked up by Simos briefly, and then Donahue got a stick on it. East Longmeadow trying to work their way up ice. Having a very difficult time so far. Thrown away by Simos here, Sloan. Out in front was looking for Simos. Taken away by Bates. Picked up back ice by Sloan. And he's trying to find Abbott along the far side, and that'll draw the whistle. Face off in the Hiller zone off the icing. 11.32 left in the second period. What the hell does this want to do here, Tom? Is this to you know, keep that momentum going, get that run for the playoff ready here and they've been doing that all game one. They've been playing their same game, not doing anything differently. And they have certainly been dominant. Here comes Hamblet into the right circle. Thought about the shot. Takes it around the net. Hamblet over to Saparoshitz. Back to Hamblet. Hamblet up against Peach in the corner. Now far side Connor Delaney. And this one is going to be taken around the net by Temple. Left out for Simos. Now back to Temple. Someone's stick just broke. Hey, Temple's stick got slashed right in half. <laughs> Let's see that every that, day. That's one way to stop him from scoring. <laughs> yeah, just break the sticks. There you go. New strategy. Sean Walsh works his way down ice. Trying to jam that one in. Good stop by Ficini. He's been very, very busy here this evening. On the near side, Rogers now out and back, and he's trying to find Walsh out in front. Good vision there by Hamlet. Back to Hamlet in the high slot. Now top of the left circle, Cam Jarrett, and that one's just wide to the left. Picked up by Higgins on the far side. Now working his way up ice is Morehouse. Walsh will get it back for the Hillers. This Longmeadow just having trouble keeping possession of the puck, let alone working their way up ice. Larry turns that one away. On the chase down, Rogers. And it's still left out in front, and that shot is just wide to the right by no, Weinstock. That's in. No, it's in. Wow, Jake Weinstock taking advantage of the opportunity there. And knocking that one in. That's great hustle by Rogers. He beat the defenseman, and all the defenseman could do was try to hook him and take him wide, and he took himself out of the play, leaving the puck right there. Well, if you're from Chini, you got to cover that up. Weinstock. I believe that's his first uh, varsity goal, too. Yeah, grabbing his first goal of the season. 5 nothing Hillers. That one comes with 9.40 left in the second period. First point, first goal for Jake Weinstock. 
White Sox certainly has a lot of speed going up the ice, too. I, I think it's he's going to be a great player over there. It's just amazing, Tom. I mean, from top to bottom, the first line to the fourth line, the Hillers are just loaded with speed. There isn't a, a slow <laughs> player out here. Right. Well, the net goes Kane. The far side, picked up by Weinstock. Here comes Miller. And that one's covered up by O'Leary. Face off in the Hiller zone. Cam Jarrett getting credit for the assist on that last goal. Yeah, though we didn't figure on it, you got to give Rogers a uh, kind of a uh, helper there for taking the defenseman out of the play. Right. <laughs> Cam Jarrett's third assist of the season, third point. Simo swings it around up to Abbott. Now towards Sloan, picked up by Peach. Larry forced to knock that one away. Simos leaves it out in front. Here comes Sloan on a quick break. Into the left circle and leaves it out in front. Fast. Another Will Abbott goal. Great setup by Sloan. Will Abbott once again in front of the net puts it right in. A beautiful pass. Sloan just working his way down. Using that speed of the outside, Will Abbott just breaking right to the open corner there for easy tap-in. Will Abbott officially has a hat trick today. His 31st goal of the season. He is now up to 49 points. Six nothing Hillers. Swinging it around Walsh. To Hamlet. Temple on the chase down there. Able to knock it back. The blue line. Abbott with a shot there. Excuse me, Connor Delaney. Just wide to the left on that one. Picked up behind the net by Hamlet, who tried to backhand it in. Puccini did have to turn it away. That's Connor Delaney once again from the top of the circle, and that one turned away by a defenseman. Have a nice tip in front. Hill is getting sticks on all those shots from the points. Jammed up along in the near side corner. It's Longmeadow on the move, but not for long as Saparoshitz turns it away. Up to Temple. Now Hamlet with the wrister, and it's covered up by Pacini. The Hill has just continued to do a great job of just puck control. Just They look for that open guy. They know where he's going to be, and they're just leading him with a pass, and that's how they're able to just keep control of that puck from the neutral zone all down into the uh, offensive zone. 6-0 Hiller's lead. Clock stopped at 7.25. Puts it near side. Here comes Rogers. That was put just to the front of the net by Weinstock. It was Griffin Zach trying to knock it in. Back and forth action along the far side. Weinstock tripped up, picked up by Rogers. Rogers back to the blue line, and that one wristed in the air by Sheen was covered up by Ficini. Good shot there from the blue line. Yeah, Griffin Zach almost getting a piece of that one. I know the players are pulling here. They'd like to see uh, Zach, who's a senior, get a goal. East Longmeadow switches up their line. Griffin Zach up against Morehouse. The top of the circle goes. Pete Mitchell getting a stick on it. Along the near side corner is Lindquist looking for his second goal of the game. Lindquist! And that one is diverted just barely by Ficini. Lindquist chases it up the far side, turns it back towards Weinstock. Lindquist flicks that one up. And it's back in the East Longmeadow territory. Picked up behind the net by Rogers. Net he 
goes. The blue line of Lindquist. The shot turned away by Miller. On to the near side corner. Griffin Zach trying to poke it out. And here comes East Longmeadow with an opportunity here. Top of the circle. It's Morehouse trying to get the shot off. Halos are going to go here for like a hold. Well, Pete Mitchell heading to the box, it looks like. Must have been earlier on the play. I didn't see that one. 5.39 left to go in the second period. East Longmeadow on the power play. Connor Delaney along the corner. Puts it around. Down in front, picked up by Simos. East Longmeadow hoping for a shot here. No one, a little too much gas for Moynihan to get a shot off. Back to the corner, and it's handled nicely by Simos. East Longmeadow with a shot. O'Leary is able to turn that one away by Bates. Good deflection in front there. And O'Leary was ready for it. Picked up by Simos. Puts it up the far side. Peach will pick it up in the corner. Now jammed up along the near side boards. There's Sloan. Miller's killing off the power play. About a minute left on the power play. 439 in the second period. Sloan up the far side. Out in front towards Abbott. Abbott boxing out Peach. Now it's Bates. Back to the neutral zone. Here comes East Longmeadow. Liam O'Brien along the far side. Takes a hard hit there. From Saparoshitz. Backhander by Abbott to get it to East Longmeadow territory. 30 seconds left on the power play. Walsh trying to pick it up behind the net. Around the net, and the shot off of Puccini's right leg. And we'll have a whistle here. Right, could we be at even strength now? Oh, the hook. Let's get the stick under Hunter Temple's arm. And it looks like the Hillers going to get a power play chance. Be at four on four for 14 seconds, and then Hillers will get their third power play opportunity. Back to the blue line, the wrister, a little too high there by Gilbert. Back to Saparoshitz. Out in front and Temple is going for the backhander there. Now behind the net is Hambler. Saparoshitz. That one turned away. Put to the near side by Gilbert. Sa er, this is Hamblet with possession. Saparoshitz. I'll leave that one out in front for Walsh. Temple up behind the net. Pillars dominating in their final regular season game against East Long Metal, leading 6 0, approaching three minutes left in the second period. Left out in front, no one there. Nice shot by Gilbert turned away. Walsh towards the blue line up to the right circle. Temple is trying to leave that one out in front. Maybe a break here for East Longmeadow. As Shutsu is looking for the shot there wide to the left. Killers get it right back. Behind the net, Hamblet. There's Walsh into the corner. That shot turned away just barely. That was Luke Glyden getting in on the action. Far side corner, Hamblet. The blue line, a Connor Delaney. And Delaney can't keep it in front of him. Picked up by Walsh. Hiller's just so much more speed than East Longmeadow. 
Here's Walsh into the left circle. Puts that one over to the far side. A little between the leg action there. Yeah, good stick work. Minute 50 left to go and counting in the second period. Three more Hillers goals. Rogers coming up the far side. Down in front, here's Griffin Zach. It's put to the right of the net. Picked up along the near side corner by Weinstock. Weinstock over to Rogers. Griffin Zach trying to turn it around. Up along the far side, Rogers. Connor Delaney puts it back to the corner. Well, East uh, Longmeadow has survived the power play. Connor Delaney along the far side. Less than a minute left to go in this second period. Some more dominant hockey by the Hillers. Stock on the chase down, and now Griffin Zach trying to get out in front of it. Connor Delaney will pick it up along the far side. Puts that one right to Bates. No Hillers in the area. Bates into the corner is going to meet up with O'Leary. Out in front in the danger zone for the Hillers. Maybe a goal here, and there is an East Longmeadow goal. Jacob Bates puts that one in. And it comes with 15.2 seconds left in the second period. It's a little bit of a breakdown defensively in front of the net there, allowing him to drift over and be unattended over in the corner. Well, it was a good shutout streak. It was quite the run of uh, five straight games here without a goal. Right. I guess it's better to give up one now than the postseason. <laughs> Over to the near side. Abbott trying to establish possession. Here comes Abbott. In the left circle, leaves that out in front, and that'll do it for the second period. Another great period for the Hillers, and they lead 6-1 to one as we head to the final 15 minutes. You are tuned in to Hopkinton Hillers Boys Varsity Hockey on HCAM. Every winter in New England, we have an increase in cases of carbon monoxide poisoning. Carbon monoxide is a gas that's indetectable to our senses and can make you very sick or even kill you in a short period of time. Fortunately, carbon monoxide poisoning is entirely preventable. Ensure that you have your heating system and other home equipment maintained and inspected annually. Never operate gas-powered equipment indoors and never barbecue indoors. Make sure to have working carbon monoxide alarms on every floor of your house and within 15 feet of every bedroom door. They should be tested monthly. When snow falls, take care to make sure that chimneys, heating and dryer outlets are clear of snow so that exhaust can exit. Similarly, shovel out your car's exhaust and never allow children or other people to sit in an idle car while you're shoveling it out. If your carbon monoxide alarm ever goes off, don't ignore it. Exit your house and call the fire department. By following these steps, you can protect your family this winter. Welcome back to the New England Sports Center as we are ready for the third period between the Hopkinton Hillers and the East Long Meadow Spartans. A 6-1 lead for the Hillers as we enter the final 15 minutes of regulation. Will Abbott with a pair of goals in the second period now has a hat trick. Three goals on the day for Will Abbott, now up to 49 points on the season and 31 goals. Jake Weinstock also got a goal in the second period. With 9.40 left, Will Abbott's goals came with 14.16 left and 8.34. And we are underway in the third period. Here comes Abbott once again looking for goal number four, and he will put that right in with ease. 10 seconds into the third period. And Will Abbott does it again. Nice pass coming across. They're just looking for Abbott who's cutting right in. He's able to blow right by that defenseman. Seven to one, Hillers. Is there a name for when you have uh, four goals in a game, Eric? <laughs> <laughs> we call it the good. Will, we call it the Will <laughs> Abbott special. Yeah, it means you're good. <laughs> 
He now has 50 points on the season. Hard push in the near side corner, and Abbott was a little slow to get up there. Yeah, I was just going to say, uh, Tom, this third period is going to be about the Hillers. Is one, you want to make sure you don't get hurt, and two, you don't get in any altercations. They're going to have you sitting out for the playoffs. Right. And they're starting off with uh, their starters in there, but I think that'll be pretty short-lived. Zab it up the near side. He's long metal looking for a shot here. Turned away. Good defensive play by Lindquist. He's long metal able to get it back briefly. Put it into the Hiller zone. Here comes Sloan. Over to Connor Delaney. That's up the far side. Abbott on the chase down. Maybe goal number five, looking for a shot here. And that one is just off the stick of Puccini. Bates up the far side. And Abbott has come out of the game as the Hillers work on their own end. Over along the far side. Chase down in the corner, picked up by Moynihan. Moynihan puts it to the blue line. Here comes Sheamus. Excuse me, that's Hamlet on the near side. Into the corner, O'Leary sets it up. There's Temple. It's up to Walsh. Walsh into the corner. Now jammed up along the near side boards. And it's dug out. Hamlet takes control of it into the neutral zone. Hamlet goes back ice. Now up the far side, Moynihan. Stolen away by Walsh. Walsh with some good stick work. Here comes Walsh looking for a shot. Leaves it for Hamlet, the wrister. And that one is knocked up in the air. I think it got a piece of Ficini. Yep, right shoulder pad up and out. Walsh puts that around the net. Hamlet into the corner. Here comes Hamlet leaving that one out in front. No one there. Temple couldn't get turned around quick enough. Larry sets it up. Off the far side towards Temple. Approaching 12 minutes left in the third period. Temple. And we'll get a whistle here. I think Temple's going to go. It looked a little worse a hit than it was. And he just lost his balance, but he's going to end up with a penalty. Clock stopped at 12.01. And East Longmeadow will be on the power play. Steven Simos will come out of the game. Griffin Zach back into the game. Here comes the Hillers. Rogers trying to work his way up ice. Now Zach. Zach on a break here up the far side. Wrist that one. That one's off of Vicini. Down in front. Now along the near side, Morehouse for East Longmeadow. Morehouse trying to find Shutsu in the right circle. Picked up by Higgins. Shot here, and that one is deflected off of Ficini. Rogers with an ear goal. Good advice pass there out front of his own net. Yeah, they just left that right out in front. Along the near side, Shutsu. Now up behind the net, Kurvik. Kurvik meets up in the far side corner with Jarrett. Back to the right point. As Peach will put that off the glass. And that one nearly deflected in off of Morehouse. You didn't even see that one coming. Shot here, and that one's turned away. Near goal there by Shutsu. Seamus with a nice block. East Longmeadow putting the pressure on, taking advantage of the power play situation. 36 seconds left on the power play. And trying to jam that one in. Turned away by O'Leary. Still up behind the net. 
Shutsu once again putting the pressure on Al with possession. Kurvik leaves it out in front. Donahue trying to put it back towards the slot. And it's turned away by Zach. Handled by Ficini. Will Abbott's back into the game for the Hillers. Along with Connor Delaney and DJ Sloan, who's working up the far side. Sloan trying to score a quick goal there. Terry got a hand on that one. Power play has officially expired, so the Hillers able to burn off another one. Along the near side, Terry. And we're back at even strength with 940 and counting left to go in the third period. Abbott over to Connor Delaney. Off the ice to Terry. Terry with some good stick work here. Behind the net it goes. Abbott is going to be met with a hard hit. And we'll get a whistle. Is this another Hiller's penalty? It looks like it might be. Maybe not. Actually, this is going to be against East Longmeadow. Going to get Liam O'Brien. So the Hiller is on the power play. With a big opportunity here. Back to the blue line. Passed by. In the left circle, Larry turns that one away. Jay Sloan. Pass across over to Abbott. Abbott out in front of Sloan, and that's a Simos. goal by Simos. Steven Simos puts it in with nine minutes left to go. Real impressive passing there by the Hill as it's just tape to tape passes. Yeah, Abbott and Sloan, the assists there. Impressive stuff today by the Hillers in their final regular season game. Up eight to one now. Riding into the near side corner. <laughs> when, whenever the Hillers have scored a goal today, since they started dominating early, you really got to do a double take, make sure it's in, because there's no applause, there's no cheers. <laughs> that and the puck goes in the net so fast if you're not watching carefully. Right. And, and you don't got the, uh, the sirens here. <laughs> Up along the air side. They haven't, been, they haven't been in a lot of these practices. These kids work on shooting all the time, and it definitely shows that they get some hard, quick shots. There's Walsh, and he's going to put that one in right around Ficini. Hiller is just racking up the points. That comes with 7.56 left. Like they're rolling the clock now. Oh, yeah. Sean Walsh picking up his first goal of the day. It's like East Meadow is going to change out the goaltender here. Actually, Not, no fault that, of his, though. That's the second goal for uh, Sean Walsh of today. 11 goals on the season. 10 assists, 21 points for Sean Walsh. He had the first goal of the game, in fact. And now he has the ninth for the Hillers. Gilbert sat around the boards. Zach up along the corner. Now Weinstock takes it out. And back into the corner. Rogers to Weinstock out in front. Turned away by Gilbert. Gilbert got a touch on it, but East Longmeadow able to handle it up the far side. Here comes the Hillers, Saparoshitz. Leary's going to cover that one up. Clock will continue rolling. Six and a half and counting left to go in the third period. Well, I think there's a good way to end the season if you're the Hillers. Some good momentum going into the playoffs. They're just dominating in all the phases of the game. They have a down. 
O'Leary has to turn that one away. Pretty good shot there by Bates. Connor Delaney jammed up along the corner. He's going to lift that one up and out of play. I, just, I, mean, that, <coughs> I think that's what's been proven to be their, uh, their best asset all year, Tom, is just uh, they have it all. They have defense. They've got a great goalie, and they've got great offense, so they're just able to... Uh, all three of those areas just dominate these teams that they've been playing. In the corner, Abbott. Well, it's this, the Hiller's speed is just too much for a lot, a lot of their opponents. It's just overwhelming all throughout the roster. Up the near side, Terry. Leaves it out in front for Simos. Terry out in front, trying to get that one through. Maintains possession. Trying to take it around to the other end of the net. Up behind the net to Simos. And now Terry leaves that one over for Walsh. Down in front. Down in the corner. Here comes East Longmeadow. Let's take it back by the Hillers pretty quickly. Walsh up the far side. And Simos getting in on the action. Walsh pulling it away, maintaining possession. Into the circle, just puts it around the boards. Picked up by Simos. Simos up behind the net. Here comes Walsh. Hiller's pretty much just playing keep away right now. And Terry and Walsh with a good cycle behind the net. Out in front. Here comes East Longmeadow with an opportunity. There's Bates up the near side. Sheamus out in front of Bates, and now jammed up along the far side corner. Jarrett getting tied up. Jarrett getting tied up with Morris. Over to the blue line. Along the near side. Jarrett up to Zach. That one's poked away by Donahue. And pretty much just tied up in the neutral zone for the last few series. Biden. East Longmeadow with a sh shot opportunity here. And that pass just gets away from Bates. Hillers getting a look. Pretty much everyone on their roster in there today. And it's always good, I think, to really give everyone some good playing time like the Hillers have before the playoffs. Gives everyone a, one last tune-up before the postseason. Yeah, give their starters there a little bit of rest, although they'll have some time off this week, but keep the legs fresh for when the playoffs start. Well, your player of the game once again going to be Will Abbott. Four goals today for Abbott and an assist. Five points overall. We'll also give Sean Walsh some recognition. A couple goals for Walsh today. A good all-around effort by the Hillers. And, of course, Dylan O'Leary having another great performance in net. Did have to go up against some pretty good shots from East Longmeadow. Gave up the one goal, but besides that, was perfect. Temple up behind the net. Griffin Zach turns it around, a near goal there. Pacini was able to just divert that one. Now sometimes there's been many opportunities today that Pacini should cover it up, and he just leaves it there. Zach lifts that one up. Zach looking for a goal here. Hiller's looking to get Griffin Zach a goal as well. Out in front of the net, and here comes East Longmeadow. 42 and counting left to go. East Longmeadow looking for a shot. O'Leary turns that one away. Lindquist puts it up the near side. Back pass there to Rogers. Rogers, uh, take it around, trying to jam it in in the corner. Contested behind the net by Higgins. Over to the far side it goes. Moynihan picks it up. 
Back to the blue line and knocked up by Saporoshitz. 105 and counting left in this game. The Hillers going to finish the regular season with 16 wins. Almost another goal there. Jammed out in front. Well played by Ficini, who has been put to work today to say the least. Over in the far side corner, Hamlet. Actually, they got the backup goaltender in there now. Out in front, Hiller's looking for another goal here. And it's Curtis Terry getting tied up behind the net. I mean, East Long metal penalty here. Yep, but they're not really. The clock will be run down <laughs> for this one. So yeah, they're not really going to have now. to kill it that much. Clock is running down as we speak. And heading to the box is Connor Peach. Just a great, great season for the Hillers here so far, Tom. Yep, but now the fun really begins. It's postseason time. Regular season going to come to an end in five seconds and counting. And they're just going to hold on to the puck. They're not even going to drop it, I don't think. And there it is. That's it. The Hopkinton Hillers defeat East Longmeadow 9 to 1. Hillers now 16 2 and 1 on the season. East Longmeadow falls to 5 and 14. Up next, it's playoff time for Hopkinton. Eric, any final thoughts on this game? No, I think just the Hillers did just what they wanted to do. They wanted to keep the momentum. They uh, were able to keep everybody healthy uh, and you know not get anybody uh, in any trouble. So they'll all be full squad, and that's when they're going to need that going deep into the playoffs because there's some good teams that they'll be facing in the Division Three. Well, now the real fun starts, playoff time. And be sure to stay tuned to the HCAM website for the postseason schedule, hcam.tv. Matt Clark on camera, our broadcast partner Eric Cardi. I'm Tom Nappy. The Hopkinton Hillers defeat East Longmeadow 9 1. We thank you for watching Hopkinton Hillers Boys for City Hockey on HCAM. Enjoy the rest of your day, everyone. We'll talk to you soon.